Hi, I am Kayadeo Kikulu. Here's your Channel's TV News Recap for September the 6th, 2020. Police authorities and Interpol say they have arrested two suspects for allegedly defrauding a German company of 14.7 million euros. The suspect, Babatindia Desoya, a 50-year-old master's degree holder in cell biology, alongside his partner, Akimpelu Hassan Abbas, are said to be members of a sophisticated transnational criminal network, which cloned the ILBN Holdings BV in Holland to transact with and defraud one Freya Frederick von Hahn, a representative of the German state of North Rhine-Westphalia. And the River State Government has accused the state chapter of the Niger Labour Congress of colluding with its national leadership to force industrial action on workers in the state. Briefing journalist in Port Harcourt, the Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General of the state, Professor Zakios Adango, said the NLC is abandoning a subsistent court case reserved for judgment on September the 29th, 2020, to embark on its threatened current strike. The federal government has given a breakdown of how it spent the 36.3 billion naira donations and funds received to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. The Accountant General of the Federation, Mr. Ahmed Idris, says about 31 billion naira was spent within the set date and it represents 84 percent of the total sum. This is in response to a letter by rights group Socioeconomic Right and Accountability Project Serap, which asked the government to provide a breakdown of how the money was spent. On the international scene, Mali's former president Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, who was ousted in a coup last month, has left the country. Military officials say 75-year-old Mr. Keita has been flown to the United Arab Emirates for medical treatment after suffering from a minor stroke. And in sports, Barcelona have announced that captain Lionel Messi will train under new coach Ronald Koeman for the first time on Monday after he has passed a COVID-19 test as part of the Spanish La Liga health protocols. The Argentine forward did not head to Barcelona's training ground on Saturday after announcing his decision to stay at the Catalan club on Friday. And that's your news recap for today. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I'm Kairo Kikulu. Thank you for watching.